Um, I like stills. Um, I like stills because they take my work back into painting. Uh, I'm trained as a painter. I studied uh, in, across three art schools between India and the United States. And I do live performances, which is I live in my work. I make work for an audience that is watching it as it's being made. So I lived here. And before I, was, before I started the performance, I walked through the town. It's an old medieval town in the middle of Tuscany on top of a hill. Pastoral, gorgeous. It's also the birthplace of the Renaissance. And as art students in India, and in the United States, and in the West, we're sort of hammered by the Renaissance. It sort of becomes the benchmark for art making. Painting and the function of painting is in so many ways to depict representational painting, is to depict what is outside, inside. So landscape painting essentially brings inside what is outside. Landscape painting essentially exists like a window that we look through. Perhaps that these paintings evoke for me a certain memory. And they became an entry point for me as to why perhaps I like images. Why do I like to make paintings? Why do I like to make pictures? If I was to show you videos of the performance, performances, they would not just bore me to death, they would bore you to death. Um, but stills have a way of capturing a performance in a moment. And because I'm so immersed in that moment while I'm doing a performance, because I'm so immersed in that moment while I'm doing a performance, they are much more telling to me. But let me bring you back to the city that I spent a large part of my life in. The city that, in a sense, makes me that urban Indian man that I feel that I am so much, is such a huge part of me. I had to do a performance through my city, Bombay. The grittiest, the dirtiest, the filthiest, the poorest, the most economically divided, the most communally divided city, the one of the most racist, one of the most sexist cities that you can possibly live in. But I love it. I love it because it constantly reminds me of how the world balances itself out. It grounds me. So I had to walk through the city. And I enjoy walking because this idea of one step after another one step after another, relentlessly going for kilometers after kilometers, is that rhythm that makes that change, that brings about that transformation that I'm constantly talking about. Walking through the night and learning things about my city that I've never experienced before because I'm always in my car, always zipping past this area, which is between my studio, which is in the north of Bombay, to the south of Bombay, where my art gallery and the whole art district is, and all that stuff in between that one never confronts because you have your windows up and your air conditioning on. Especially in public spaces, I think it's much, much easier for audiences. In, in Europe and in, in, in America, uh, Australia as well, when I perform on this, well, I haven't performed on the street in Australia, but there is a very different way in which I think education, school and college and university education specifically, um, or the culture that, that, that you experience in, in, in the West um, imposes conditions on you that create these barriers. For example, I wouldn't have people stare at me in a public space because that's not the place you stare at people and that's not polite. Whereas um, if I was in a gallery or a museum or a, a, a 
a space like this, that's the kind of space that people have the license to stare at. So there is always a place, a time and a place for things in the West. What is that? All of that falls completely apart in a beautiful way, as far as I'm concerned, at home, because there are, those conditions don't apply. It's okay to stare at anyone, anytime, anyhow. It's okay to stop for 20 minutes on your way to work and be late. It's okay to be chewing and spitting and scratching yourself while you're watching. You know, and it's, at some level, it's quite, I, I find it, uh, I don't find the spitting and scratching delightful, but uh, I do find the idea that people will stop and will, 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 be, uh, will take the time and will say, no, this is my moment too. And y you are creating yourself as an object to be looked at. Well, then deal with it, because I will look at you. And I enjoy that. 